Hey, how's it going? Today I wanted to talk about this specific hummingbird feeder, which you should not buy. I found this specific one on a website called Holy, which sounds kind of weird saying it out loud now, but it's W-H-O-L-E-E. -E. And I got bought two of them for about 24 bucks. They're $14 each. One immediately cracked as soon as I used it. And you could probably hear this sound. This actually ends up scaring the hummingbirds. And not only that, this just sits loosely on top. And to make matters even worse, this part here, oh my God, it already has a crack in this one as well. But this part here is extremely loose, not metal at all, has this really weird way that it kind of snaps into itself. No clue why this even exists. And once you pop it in, you can't take it out. So it's really hard to clean because you need to clean this as a whole like this. And this is just impossible to clean. This plastic is so fragile. Look, I already have another crack here. I used it once. And then the fact that this does not sit flush does not create a leak proof environment because if you kind of look at this, it leans off to a side. This is not good because once it's hanging up, everything kind of pours off to one side. So if you've kind of overfilled it or say a couple birds land on one side, it just starts pouring out the side. So not good at all. We have a ton of feeders here. This has definitely been the worst one, which is why I decided to make a video about it to make sure that you don't end up with it. And let me take this part off really quick. This design here, it has all these little hexagonal type of uh, ports, I guess you can call it. It's got a ton. Originally, I thought this would be amazing for the hummingbirds. Not only is this annoying to clean, but the hummingbirds, as you can see in this video here, they actually miss a lot of the times when they go to eat into this, which is a problem. You know, they're here poking around, hitting their beaks on stuff because they can't see the hole. And with this, along with that filled with stuff, it's really hard to see the holes from up above. So I've seen hummingbirds land, hit it a bunch of times and miss, and then just take off to another feeder. And not only that, when you look at this design again, this part here is really far away from these holes here. So again, in that video that I pointed to earlier, the hummingbirds really have to stretch their necks to be able to sit and feed. To sit here and feed in here, it's a really bad combo. So anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like or a subscribe. And uh, yeah, I have links to some of my favorite feeders that are super easy to clean down below, like um, the saucer feeders. And I have another one right here. They're all from the Nature First which are some of my favorite feeders. They've lasted me forever. This lasted me maybe 20 minutes. And uh, yeah, it's going in the trash. Hopefully I can get my money back, but avoid these. They're on Amazon as well. Avoid them at all costs. All right, peace.